Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here we have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Toronto State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. A company has an obligation to pay a million at the end of each of the next three years. The company decides to use the strategy of dedication, also known as cash flow matching, to pay for these liabilities. To match these three liability cash flows exactly, the company will purchase appropriate amounts of the following three bonds, each of which can be purchased in any needed amount. Bond 1 one year zero coupon bond with face value of 1000 trading at 965. Bond 2 is a two year coupon bond paying 4% annual coupons with a yield of maturity of 5% and with power value of 1000. Bond 3 is a three year coupon bond paying 6% annual coupons with power value of 1000 with current price of 991. Find the amount the company will spend on purchasing bonds it will buy to implement its strategy. And here are the five possible answers. We will pick the answer choice once we actually calculate the exact amount. So at this point there is really no need to pay careful attention to answer choices, but we will solve the problem completely by finding the uh, amount that we will spend that the company will spend on buying the bonds and here's the solution so the liability cash flows to be paid are um, a million at times one two and three at each of the three times the only bond available that produces a cash flow at time three is bond three and that bond will pay 1,000 maturity value, the power value of the bond, plus 60 coupons, so a total of 1,060 per unit, uh, and each such unit costing 991 at time zero, and the payment will be at time three. Since we want a payment of a million, we must purchase a million divided by 1,060. That's approximately 943.3962264242 units, costing now that amount, the number of units, so a million divided by 1060 times 991, the current price of one unit. And that turns out to be approximately 934,905.66. This position in uh, bond 3 will produce cash flows of a million divided by uh, 1060 times 60. So approximately 56,603.77 at times 1 and 2. Therefore, positions in the other bonds must produce payments of um, 1 million minus that amount, so 943,396.23 at times 1 and 2. Among the remaining two bonds, bond 1 and bond 2, only bond 2 produces a cash flow at time 2 in the amount of 1,040 per unit. 1,000 principal repaid at its maturity plus 40 coupon. In order to have a payment of 943,396.23, we must purchase the following number of units of bond 2. That amount, 943,396.23 divided by 1,040, that's 907.11176 approximately units of bond 2. We actually don't have the price of bond 2. We use the franc formula to calculate it. We know the yield to maturity is 5%, the coupon is 40 
And so it's 40A angle 2 at 5% plus 1,000 times 1.5 1 to the negative 2, and that's approximately 981.41. And uh, the price of the number of units that we want, which is 907.11176, um, of bound 2 is approximately that 907.1176 times 981.41, and that's approximately 938,318.05. Note also that uh, 907.11176 units of bond 2 produce a payment of 907.1176 times 40, because 40 is a coupon paid by bond 2, um, and that's equal to approximately 36,284.47 at time 1. Thus, position in bond 3 makes a payment of 56,603.77 at time 1. And position in bond 2 produces payment of 36,284.47 at time 1. For a total paid by bond 3 and bond 2 of 56,603.77 plus 36,284.47, a total of 92,888.24. But a payment of a million is needed at time 1. And this means that position in bond 1, recall that bond 1 only makes a payment at time 1, it's a zero coupon bond maturing at time 1, will have to produce a payment of a million minus 92,888.24, and that's 907.11176. A unit of bond 1 makes a payment of 1,000, so we will need to buy 907,111.76 divided by 1,000. That's 907.11176 units of bond 1. The price of a unit of bond 1 is 965, so the total price of a position in bond 1 will be 907.11176 times 965, and that's 875,362.85. And the total price of the portfolio um, purchases of the three bonds. So we will make three purchases, create a portfolio, and the total price um, will be approximately 875,362.85 plus 938,318.05 plus 934,905.66 for a total of 2,748,586.55. And that's answer E. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem is created by me and the solution is mine. All rights reserved. Reproduction in whole or in part without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.